guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. This is my new crib, but no, this is not an apartment tour. Not ready for that yet. However, I did get the last two of the new snake enclosures in today. So I'm gonna set those up. So I figured I would start off just showing you guys the new enclosures and then I'll do the apartment tour when the apartment is ready. So I did order four exoterras. They're all for snakes because a lot of my snakes are in top opening enclosures or in Penelope and Tootsie's case. They've grown a lot and they're starting to get close to outgrowing their tubs. So because I moved and had to take apart the shelves and redo them and everything, I figured it would just make my life easier if I had front opening enclosures and then I could drop the shelves lower so I wouldn't have to worry about leaving room to get in and out of the enclosures and I could just utilize the space so much better. Also, now that I'm on a zoo employee salary, I need to budget my spending. Um, so I've been working on a budget, so I can't exactly splurge anymore. So I figured before I start that job, finish up my nature center, my last paycheck, by splurging and getting these enclosures I've been wanting to get for a while. I, for some reason, can never find them used. Everyone get, finds used exoterras. I never can. So I'm just like, you know what? Let's see who has the best deals and I'm going to order them. So we're going to set up the last two I have. One is for Tootsie and one is for Zero. And then I'll show you all four of the new ones because two are already set up because I had them shipped to my home before I moved. So here are the two new enclosures that came in today. This one is for Tootsie. It is a small low, so the dimensions are 18 by 18 by 12. It's the same enclosure that I got for Penelope, which she's currently in. And then this is a medium wide that I got for zero. And I know what you're thinking. You're probably thinking, Zoe, this doesn't look very long. I know. This isn't exactly what I was expecting. I don't know what I was expecting. It's 24 by 18 by 18. And when I saw the 24, I was like, great, it's gonna be super long. And I guess, I mean, 24 inches isn't really that long. But when I did the math, it's the same floor space as a 30 gallon, which is what he was in. So it's the same floor space, it's just not long. But I also liked that it had some height to it because he is a climber. Zero spends most of his time climbing. So you know what? I'm still gonna use it because it's here. It's better than what he's got and he'll just have to really utilize the climbing aspects of it but it's not like he ever really stretches out he's usually either curled up pretty small or he's climbing so it will work i'll keep an eye on it if i think it like desperately needs to change i'll get a new enclosure but we're gonna give it a try and see how it goes because it's here so why not so here's Zero at the moment. He's on the big shelves. He is in a 20 gallon. I only brought the 20 gallon, not 30, because I knew that new enclosure was getting delivered within a couple days of me moving in and that I'd have to store whatever I brought down with me. So I just brought the 20 gallons since he's only in it for a couple days. And the new enclosure is gonna go up here in its place. Okay, so I got it on the shelf and I would just like to say there's a reason I did not film me putting it on the shelf. The sucker's heavy. Also, for anyone that might have some issues with the size of the enclosure, I would just like to say also that this is by no means his final enclosure. I do have plans to have him in a 40 breeder. He will be getting Crikey's 40 breeder when Crikey gets his final enclosure. That will happen when I find one used or I save up money to buy one because, like I said, I'm budgeting now. So, when Crikey's out of his 40 breeder, that's what Zero is going to get, but I'm in no rush to do that. So this is going to be Zero's enclosure temporarily, should it work, because obviously I'm going to keep an eye on it, see how he does in it, see how his size compares to it, and see if it's going to work or not. If not, I'll have my mom bring his 30 gallon up from home and I'll put him back into that. But we don't know unless we try, so we're going to give it a try. I do have his heat mat on the left and I shouldn't have to say it because it's usually what I'm going to. It is hooked up to a thermostat. You guys know I hook all of my snakes up to thermostats. I do not use a heat mat without a thermostat. You use a heat mat, you use a thermostat. 
She didn't even need to say it, but I'm saying it. Thermostats, heat mats. So here is Zero's new setup. I tried to utilize this piece of driftwood better. Oh look, some shed. I tried to utilize this piece of driftwood better um, as opposed to just having it lay flat. I used it and kind of propped it up so that it could be used for climbing. And I would like to get more driftwood and whatnot for him. And I'm actually going to a reptile shop later this week so let's see what they have for some driftwood or more plants, because I do want more over here. So, you know, hide this hide a little bit. My crazy snake. There you go. All right, so that's zeros. That's one of the two new ones in here. Also on the big shelf down here is Snicket. So Snicket's, I don't remember what it is. I'll have to look it up. Um, but it is bigger than a 20 gallon, which is what he was in. There he is, hi Snicket. He's currently on the bottom shelf, which I don't really like because it's super dark down here because he's next to Kronk. Hi Kronk, what's up? Uh, so yeah, I don't really like him down here. It's so low to the ground. He's kind of hidden and it's dark. I want him up there next to zero. But that's a job that's going to happen at, when my boyfriend comes to visit me again. Because I can't get this out. We didn't put this high enough for Kronks to really fit in here well. So his is sticking out. I can't push it over. So his had to move over behind this bar. So I can't slide it out. And there's a wall right there. So I can't pull it out that way. And also his thermostat is way in that back corner where I can't really reach and it was a lot of work to hook up. So he's just going to stay down here for now. But we'll open it up and take a look. She can't even open that door. I can open that one. I snake it. So there is this enclosure. There's one hide, two hide, three hide. Hey buddy. So it is a decent sized enclosure. Tootsie's actually in shed right now, so she's also going to need a humid hide, but look how big she's gotten. She's finally putting on some weight. She's getting a little thicker. This is why she needed a new enclosure, because it is time. <laughs> So I'm out of moss, which is what I would normally use. So I just have a wet paper towel in this mason jar that I'm just gonna leave in here for her. And yeah, so let's hope for a perfect shed. So now that you have seen Tootsie's, I can show you Penelope's. Penelope was the one other upgrade and she's right up here, same enclosure as Tootsie. 
this is it. She still has her big plant and her two hides. But I added in these pinkish plants that I've been hanging on to for a while just for her. You can see she's back there in her warm hide. So yeah, this is her new enclosure. So those are my four new snake enclosures. I was very excited to get them in. I'm loving how they look. And I can't wait to show you guys a full apartment tour. But obviously, things still need to change. Once Snicket goes up two shelves, I think I'm gonna move Tinsel from out here in the living room into the bedroom onto that shelf where Snicket currently is. So yeah, there's just things that need to move. Um, I still need to hang stuff on the walls. For some reason, I can't get picture hanger hooks into these walls, even though that is what my landlord said I'm allowed to use. So I can't hang anything. So that's a struggle, but we're working on it. So if you'd like to see the final apartment when it is done, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out. And just on more fun videos. So as always, thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you for the next one.